Hello, once you see me here. It has been a long time since I have uploaded anything to YouTube, but I was in the mood for it. I wanted to pick up my camera. I felt like having a little chat. So here I am. I'm not saying I'm back, but I am saying I'm here. It's actually been such a long time since I've uploaded to this channel. I want to say maybe about a year, which is crazy, because if you asked me to put a number on it, I would have said maybe three or four months. But no, it has been 12 months since I've uploaded onto here. And we're just gonna, we're gonna forget about that. We're just gonna be grateful for the here and now, for the fact that we're in this moment together. But anyway, it's Monday and I figured I would just pick up the camera this week and see what happens. I do have a slight ulterior motive and it's that I'm going to Budapest at the end of the month with Ollie. I booked it as a birthday present for him, which is really fun. And there is something in my heart and my head that says that trip deserves to be vlogged for YouTube, not for like little like mini vlogs on Instagram or anything. And I don't know felt like I needed a bit of a practice run before I went away. Flex is a different muscle in your brain. And I just thought, why not? My neck and my face are currently giving very interesting different colours. But that is because I don't put fake tan on my face. I only tan like the rest of my body. And then I do like foundation to match. But it does mean that when I don't have makeup on, I look a lot like this. My teddy also looks very... I think he needs a bit of extra stuffing in his neck. He always looks quite sad because his head flops forward so much. But this is... His name is Soups, full name Super Nintendo Chalmers, Ollie named him. And then this little duck, it costs 75p from Sainsbury's over at Easter and this is Albie, but they live on the bed. And then they've been joining me for, <laughs> for this intro to the vlog. I could spend literally ages yapping and filling everyone in on what I've been up to lately, which I mean, spoiler alert, isn't a lot to be honest, but it is Monday morning and I've got quite a lot of work to do today. So I really want to kickstart my work week well so that means heading out for a morning walk and doing a little bit of like of a morning routine i'm not much of a morning routine kind of girl but sometimes i try and force it and it does make me feel better but it is rainy and windy outside so i'm gonna need to bundle up into something with a hood so that i can make it out and not ruin my hair although it is very greasy and does need a wash so let's get ready for that <laughs> also i only semi made the bed this morning because paul was sat there and looked really comfortable and i didn't want to disturb him but i didn't want to not make the bed at all so i basically made as much of it as i could like three quarters of the bed almost and then just left him in that little corner and as soon as he jumps off when i feed him i'm gonna run back in and yank the rest of it over just so it looks nice <laughs> and my tea in front of me this is peppermint tea and i've got in it some probiotics it's like a powder i have to mix into a liquid that uh i'm taking because my nutritionist recommended it and i've also got more more medication to take that one of them is like prebiotics one is probiotics don't know which way around it goes but i've got them i've got a big bowl of cereal because i'm starving and i'm ready to crack on with my day i've got a couple of deadlines that i need to film stuff for today one is a set of stories for Smarty Mobile on Instagram. I'm working with them over like a three month period. And this is my second set of content with them. And then the other one is a TikTok for Essie, the nail brand. And I've got some of their new gel couture. I don't, I'm pretty sure they're new. Yes, new formula, gel couture colors. So I'm trying them out, which is exciting. I love doing my nails at home. So I really like being able to work with like nails brands but yeah 11 o'clock feels like a really nice start time for my day i am not a morning girl so i don't force it in the morning i would much rather have a slow morning get my walk in have a nice shower get myself a breakfast and really feel ready for my day rather than trying to scramble and start work at a sort of conventional 9 a.m um like most people in offices do just because i'm not productive in the morning my brain isn't switched on yet and i don't I'm, I'm not working to my best capacity so i either try and do a like 10 to 6 or an 11 to 7 today is an 11 to 7 for me but it's fine because ollie doesn't get home until 
quite late most days anyway so it doesn't matter when my schedule is because even if i'm finishing at seven i'll probably be done before him which means by the time he gets home we can have dinner sit on the sofa and watch something we've just finished three body problem on netflix last night which i enjoyed but also i got confused several times during it and i feel like i could probably benefit from another watch to figure out what was going on in half of it but i think maybe there were like certain times where i was losing a little bit of interest dipping out and then missing bits that piece the story together so i don't know apparently there will be a second season for it but not until 2026 so i'll probably end up re-watching it before the new season comes out because i don't know i liked it but i didn't love it so my current plan of action is to eat my cereal get this ready my hair looked like a little bit on the greasy side but not too bad before i went for a walk but it was chucking it down while i was out there so it sort of got ended up with a little bit damp so I need to fix that somehow and put my face on. And what is really annoying is that I can see out my window, it now looks like really bright, clear weather. So if I'd just waited a little bit longer to go on a walk, it would've been better. It might not look like it, but I have fixed my hair. It just needs to cool down and then by the time I brush it out, it will look exactly how I want it to look but it's a little bit wild at the minute. I just need to do my face now before I can start filming and I've got a few new products in that I'm really excited to try so I thought I'd show you them. They're from Armani Beauty which is wild to me because no matter how long I do this job when a brand goes do you want to try our stuff I go oh my god I can't believe you want to you want me to try it um major imposter syndrome all of the time i've got the luminous silk foundation and i've heard really good things about this i've got it in shade 5.5 and i'm hoping that it's going to be a good shade because i picked it online and i hate doing that because nine times out of ten you, do, you don't get it quite spot on do you i've also got the luminous silk perfect glow concealer and that is in shade 3.75 i've got the fluid sheer glow enhancer and that says 11 on it and i have no idea what this is i didn't pick the shade for this one so i'll be interested to see and then i've got two different blushes they are called the luminous silk glow blush and i've got it in 50 which is euphoric and 52 which is ecstasy makeup shades are always such an interesting name aren't they on the little note in here it says start your glow using the viral fluid share which dresses the skin in an illuminating veil of radiance so that sort of gives me charlotte tilbury uh the for, uh, airbrush what what is it called i've got one here somewhere it's called flawless filter it gives me the vibe that it's going to be similar to that and then it's got the foundation the concealer and the blush as well so i'm going to give it a go and see what it's like and meanwhile in the background i'm just watching youtube myself i'm watching carrie dayton at the minute i follow her on instagram but i haven't watched any of her vlogs in a really long time just because i went through a phase of not really watching much tv at all or any youtube because every time i had spare time where i wanted to wind down i was reading so i got really out of the loop of what was going on in the world of entertainment um but i'm i'm taking my toe back in at the minute i don't have the brain capacity to read which is strange i seem to go through phases where i pick up my kindle and i go i just can't do that at the minute so we're back to watching uh, i'm doing a lot of vlogs at the minute go like cycling through all of my favorites that i used to have that i haven't watched in ages and then like i said watching stuff on netflix with ollie as well in the evenings brows and skin prep is done so it is time to now do my base which means i can try these products out starting with the fluid sheer and this looks a lot pinkier than i was expecting so i'm not sure what this is going to be like but we're gonna give it a go and i'm sure it's gonna be nice because it's armani who even am i i'm literally just gonna go in and do this with my hands i don't know if that is correct but feels right this is actually less like a uh, flawless filter and more like the what are they called the drunk elephant like debronzy drops or whatever they're called that everyone tries i've never used them myself but this is what it reminds me of and that has actually given the illusion that i may have left the country i might have been on holiday and you'll never know i actually really like the formula of that and it did apply really easily just with my hands and i think it's given a really nice glowy base the lighting in my office is not the best so i don't know if it shows up on camera as nicely as it does in real life but that's i'm impressed with that actually time to try the foundation and so many people say that they love this i hear it absolutely raved about so i've got high hopes i'm using my makeup brush that has definitely seen better days and really needs a clean so i know that will sort of 
maybe not let it perform to its best abilities but it's what we're working with for right now considering i picked the shade online i would actually say it is a really good match for when i am tanned you can obviously tell that it's nowhere near how pale my face actually is but it then means my neck and my face almost at the same color and my hands Mm, are a bit weird at the minute considering this feels so lightweight it's got a really good coverage to it although i have found lately because my skin has cleared up so much if anyone follows me on instagram or has seen any old videos of mine you will know that i suffered really badly with hormonal acne but since seeing my nutritionist and sorting all my gut health out that hasn't been an issue for me which is wild but because of that i have found that i haven't needed as like heavy duty full coverage makeup and i have been able to start wearing a bit less and go less crazy with the full on like matte really high coverage stuff which has been really nice because it just feels a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more breathable to be honest i feel like i actually did such a good job picking shades from the website because these are really spot on this is nice and bright for around the eyes the foundation goes really well with my fake tan shade i've done a good job i have excelled in that not sure how i feel about this concealer just yet i usually like quite a creamy and actually quite a thick concealer even though i've stopped going for so high coverage in my foundation i still do really like a nice i was gonna say juicy concealer that is not the word i want but just a really good coverage because my bags i don't see it well i never have done i'm gonna move you so you can see in this light a little bit better and actually the coverage on that is very good considering it feels so so lightweight but I think for my under eyes, I would still like it to be like just a tiny bit thicker. But it's blended out really beautifully. I think it's made my skin look really, really nice. So all in all, I'm a fan of this. This has definitely surpassed my expectations. And I can really see why so many people online rave about this. It's very harsh light at the minute, but this is how it looks currently. I'm going to finish up the rest of my face and then you will be able to see it when I've got a full face on. But I need to start picking the speed up a little bit because I've got a lot to film and it's already 12 o'clock somehow. I've been doing a little bit too much doing and dallying while getting ready this morning. Face is on, we're all done and I am really impressed with those products. The concealer I am not particularly enamoured with. I like it, I don't love it. But I do think it has done a very good job. And all of my other products are sitting on top really nicely. I think it has made my skin look so good. The only thing I haven't done is used one of the powder blushes. But I have had a little look. And the shades are incredible. Look at those. That is a little bit of a scary pink. But I do think it will look really nice. And then that is a really nice like subtle shimmery one. I think I'm going to put a little bit of this on top. If I can find the right brush for it, we'll use this one. I'm just going to go in with like a tiny bit of this just over the top. And then that is me done. All I need to do is brush out my hair before I can start filming stuff, which is very good. And what is nice is yesterday I planned out a slight script. I don't, when I'm filming something where I'm talking, I don't like to script it word for word because then i think i come across really wooden and like i i don't know like i'm not enthusiastic about what i'm talking about because i'm focusing too hard on trying to say the right words so i always write almost like bullet points revision notes where these are the things that i want to say but i won't make notes in fully structured sentences they'll be in like half sentences and they're just prompts for me so i can get filming straight away i know what i need to say and i know what order i need to say in which is important for me because sometimes i'm so good at going off on a tangent and then saying things sort of out of order and then forgetting the important bits i need to say so it's really helpful just to have those little notes okay that is looking absolutely stunning and i'm really glad i went for this one because even though it looks a lot paler in the pan it has actually still come out really pigmented but it's given such a nice shine i think i look quite radiant i don't know is that a weird thing to say about myself i feel like i look a lot more alive than i feel which is nice because lately i have been struggling with really bad fatigue basically since christmas so it is almost four months now and i've been back and forth with the doctors so much saying please help me this is really bad um and i've been going through loads of blood tests to rule some things out we've ruled out asthma as well because i'm having some breathing problems but basically with a lot of the symptoms that i've got the doctor that i saw did a like really thorough blood test and wants to rule out ovarian cancer being one of them uh lupus and she wanted to rule out glandular fever as well and i don't think it's that but based on all of my symptoms 
and I basically already have the blood test results and I just haven't been able to speak to anyone yet. It's taken a really long time just to get an appointment. So I can see what has been flagged on it. And I think some sort of autoimmune disease does look quite likely, but I'm not drawing my own conclusions until I can speak to them and see what they have to say. But I'm just at the point where if they said it was some sort of autoimmune disease like lupus or rheumatoid arthritis, I would not be surprised. Um, I'm hoping it's not that because that is then like a lifelong condition I need to deal with. But equally, if it is that, then at least I know what it is and there are ways to treat and manage those things. Whereas at the minute, I feel dreadful most of the time and no one is giving me any solutions for it. So even though they're being really good at sending me for loads of tests and being quite thorough and actually really listening to what I'm saying when I'm saying I don't feel well and something is not right, they're not giving me anything in the meantime to help with it. So I'm just raw dog in life and actually really embarrassingly most of the time just getting by on energy drinks which is obviously not healthy and I would not recommend it to anyone but particularly when I've got work to do which is sort of personality based and I need to come across like I'm not about to fall asleep they are the only thing getting me through some days and I really try and limit them just to the days where they feel really necessary or if I know that I need to get a lot done because it's honestly it's the only way I'm getting it done and it's not been fun and I really never thought I'd be relying on energy drinks again I relied on them a lot during my degree because my sleep was awful and I don't know it just sort of saw me through didn't think at 30 years old I would be back drinking them semi-regularly just to help me get through the day so it's an interesting one but i've got a call on wednesday with the doctors uh finally after my blood test was about two or three weeks ago and then we will see what they say and we will go from there but yeah that's that i'm ready i've got to start filming basically my plan of action is to film edit and submit the first one and then film edit and submit the second rather than filming both editing both submitting both usually i think i would tend to do that but for what i need to do today in my brain it just makes more sense to be able to do each one to completion one at a time rather than running them alongside each other i don't know sometimes one way works and sometimes the other way works today we're doing beginning to end twice over okay so i'll see you once that's done I'm just in the process of getting myself ready for the Essie ad. So I'm painting one hand. So one hand starts painted and one hand starts naked. And I just needed a toilet break, which is always really annoying when you're painting your nails. So I was doing like a one hand in the air and trying to maneuver my pants with only one hand. And then I realized that while I was filming my Smarty ad, I decided I wanted to change the bra I was wearing. I was wearing like a little just triangle bralette thing that gives you zero support. And my girls were hanging a little bit low. So I decided I wanted to put a proper bra on to film. Not that anyone's seeing it, but it just makes a difference, doesn't it? Um, but I couldn't be bothered to do a full like jumper off, change bra, jumper back on situation. So I sort of did it like just as a quick rummage with like the jumper still around my neck, but my arms out of my sleeves. And I've just realized I never bothered taking it off the the bralette that i had on before so it's just been sitting around my waist for hours and now because i've only got the use of one hand i'm not going to do anything about it right now so that's going to be there until probably until i get into pajamas later this evening because i know i will inevitably forget again or until the next time i go for a wee and notice it again and finally take it off but i was just like why is there so much material around my waist right now and it's because this was on <laughs> i've just finished filming the se ad and i think it's gone well but i need to edit it and submit it and it is already 20 past four Ooh, today has been well it's gone a lot slower than i thought it would everything that i've needed to do has taken longer than i anticipated so now i feel like i'm on a little bit of a time crunch to get this edited and sent over by end of day and i haven't even stopped for lunch and i am really doing those things where it's like don't do what I do but I've got a 
little slice of salted caramel cheesecake that Ollie left for me in the fridge. And this is currently getting me through until I can have an actual meal. But it was alright because we have quite late dinners anyway. So by the time this is done, I'll have like a medium sized lunch at about 5pm I reckon. But then we probably won't have dinner until 8.30, 9 maybe. We really do eat late in this household. But it's just who we both are. We both used to eat standing up for a really long time as well. And when Chloe moved in with us, she lived with us for like a year. She found it so weird. She was like, guys, can you please sit down? Because I don't enjoy this. But we're so used to just eating or standing up. Probably not very good for your digestive system. I know is this, but it tastes fantastic. I've just figured out why it tastes so fantastic as well. I thought he'd got it from Sainsbury's, but it's actually from M&S. So that is why it's as tasty as it is. It says, it's a gorgeous caramel cheesecake with British whipping cream and assorted caramel, chocolate and honeycomb topping. And my God, it is good. I've just oh, realised I've got that all over my face. Hopefully you can't see that in anything that I just filmed. I just submitted my second piece of work at 5.30 on the dot. So I'm gonna call that a success because even though I said earlier, I obviously don't need to worry about normal working office hours. For what I do, I still need to get it to the people in offices on time. So the fact that I managed to do that, despite them both taking a little bit longer than I first anticipated, I'm very, very pleased with. I've still got a little bit of work that I need to do this evening. And then Ollie has texted me saying that he wants like a nice big salad for dinner tonight. And I am very keen for that. I just i just love salad to be honest <laughs> nothing more to it i just really enjoy if you follow me on instagram you'll probably know this i really enjoy like packing salads full of so many different ingredients don't know what we're gonna be able to get in sainsbury's local because we haven't had a food shop delivered well i haven't done a food shop order recently so we're sort of at the mercy of sainsbury's local so it might not be to the best of my ability but i'm good with salads i'm gonna pull something out of the bag and i'll show you it once i have today is a far cry from how i looked and felt yesterday i'm literally wearing this like gross stained hoodie all of my hair is tucked into it and i do not feel good at all um this is the frustrating thing with the fact that i am dealing with this sort of mystery illness health problem at the minute is that i only managed to get a couple of good days squeezed in before i then feel just like shit like i woke up in a lot of pain this morning and I feel so tired like I can't even get my brain switched on so I'm trying to work and I have been I've been at my desk for hours now and just nothing is happening um it's just very frustrating and I'm trying not to feel sorry for myself all the time but right now I am so <laughs> this is me for today I've already tried doing as much as I can today and my brain is just not having any of it and I keep feeling like I'm gonna cry which is not much fun and it's just it's so annoying going from doing really well to doing like the complete opposite of that so quickly but I've done what I can in terms of work I've given the kitchen a bit of a clean I've still got some washing up to do the one thing I really miss about living in our old house is that we had a dishwasher I am now the dishwasher and I hate it. It's so boring, but it is what it is. I've still got a little bit more washing up to do later, but at least the place feels like a little bit calmer. <laughs> We've got quite a small kitchen, so it doesn't take much to make it feel really messy and then like overwhelming. And then I've just made myself some lunch. I've done one of these taste the difference mac and cheeses. These are really good, but usually you are meant to put them in the oven and I went, oh, I don't want to have to do that today. So I put it in the air fryer and I've definitely overcooked it. Um, I think it will still be fine. I think it's just the top layer that looks quite well done, but the rest should be okay. I'm just waiting for it to cool down before I can eat it. But I actually really wanted to make myself like a bougie toast for lunch and I realized we didn't have any bread and it made me really sad. <laughs> just one of those days I'm feeling so fragile and for nothing and i hate not knowing why but i'm gonna sit on the sofa i'm gonna eat this mac and cheese 
and I'm gonna just sit and try and read for a little while and I'm hoping that I'll get another burst of energy later on today. I've really learned over the last couple of months that I just can't fight feeling like this. Um, if I feel like shit and I'm not physically able to get anything done, it doesn't matter how long I sit at my desk for, it doesn't get done. So I'm gonna just sit and try and chill out and hope that that sort of kickstarts a little bit of energy this evening just to catch up on a few extra bits. So we'll see how it goes. I'm actually gonna go as far to say that this is the best supermarket mac and cheese there is. I've had it a few times before and it just never disappoints. Although I do wish I cooked it for maybe a few minutes less. But whenever I'm trying to work out the timings between putting something in the air fryer versus what the guide says for an oven, I get really confused. So it said 25 minutes for an oven and this I only put in for 15 minutes and probably could have done with a few minutes less, maybe like 12 or 13, which is almost half. So does that mean I always need to half the oven time that it says? Because whenever I chuck something in, I do end up overcooking it, I think. I prefer cooking things from scratch in the air fryer. I don't often chuck something like this in, but you know, there are those days where you need something quick and you need it just, just to do a job on those days. I feel like I need to get a better handle on the time conversion. Good morning, it is Wednesday now and the rest of yesterday was a complete and utter write off. I ended up having my lunch and I was sitting trying to chill out and recuperate a little bit. Ended up having a full blown migraine, sleeping uh, for most of the afternoon, which I don't do. Actually, I'm not a daytime sleeper. So that's when I always know that something is quite wrong because my body just sort of shuts down and goes, oh, I'm not dealing with this right now. So I ended up feeling really horrible for the rest of the day. But Ollie came home and made us a really nice dinner, actually. We had like a stir fry with like a hoisin sauce and he made breaded chicken to go along with it as well, which was really good. And a nice surprise because I thought he was just going to buy breaded chicken. So the fact that he did it himself, major points from him. Thankfully, I'm feeling a lot better today because I've got a busy day ahead. I'm going into Central. I've got a couple of different events and a theatre trip later with Amy. I think I'm seeing Chloe and Lucy at some point as well. I'm with Amy for the whole day and then the others are like dipping in and out of things. So I'm just trying to work out my outfit and I think I want to do these like M&S linen trousers as a base. These are so good, they're so comfortable. And I think where I felt a bit rough yesterday, comfort really is key for now. And then I think I'm gonna do, if it is clean actually, which it is, it's in the wardrobe, which is a good start. I think I'm gonna do a pink jumper just to bring in some spring vibes and put a little bit of a pep in my step, I think. I've just had a call with my GP and I feel really deflated, a bit frustrated, I guess. So basically she said that everything was pretty much fine other than the fact that my, it's called a CRP marker and that was high, which means I had inflammation in the body at the time, but we don't know why or what was causing it. And she said my B12 and folates couldn't be tested because she said they maybe lost a sample. And I said, I actually think it's because on the day they were really struggling to take blood from me. And she was like, that will be it. Because I think it's gone now, but for almost two weeks, I had such a big bruise on both like the backs of my hands from where they struggled to get the blood so much. I couldn't even do it through the like, elbow crook thing whatever that's called and had to do it in my hands and even then she really struggled getting anything out and she was like if this doesn't happen you might have to go to hospital to get this blood test done and I was like I really I just don't want that to happen and we we managed it well she managed it I didn't really do much I just sat there um but yeah so I need to get that retested and I said to her she was like do you have any questions and I was like yeah like other than this retest what are the next steps and she was quite dismissive she said well this is the next step and obviously I know that they've got like a process that they need to go through. But when I've been feeling so unwell for four months, it just would have been nice to have like a little bit of reassurance that like there was something else that was going to happen. Um, because I don't think my B12 is the issue here because I'm pretty sure I had it tested at the beginning of the year and it was fine. And that is sort of when this all kicked off and I started feeling really unwell. So if that was the thing to do it, I think it would have been caught sooner. So it's really, really annoying. But the trouble with my GP is it is an online GP. Because I move house so much and because I've got ADHD and I'm terrible at like moving everything around to new addresses and to new places, I have had an online GP for about three or four years now because it means whenever I move house, I don't have to worry about finding a new doctors and I can just stick with the same process basically. 
but it means that you can't see anyone for like two weeks at a time. I literally booked this appointment that I had today on the day I had my blood test over two weeks ago and this was the earliest available appointment that I could see someone. So I've been waiting two weeks for her to go and now you need to go and have another blood test. Do we see why I'm annoyed with that? It's just, and I know it's like not an individual's fault. I know it's like the whole system is overwhelmed, underfunded. Oh my god, I feel like I need a break and I'm not getting one and it's so annoying that I now need to wait for another blood test, book a, a checkup for that straight away, probably wait another two weeks. So I'll be a month down the line from my original blood test, but five months down the line from being really unwell. Oh, it's just very annoying and I know loads of other people have it worse. So it feels silly to be getting upset about, but when it impacts my day to day so much, it's really hard. But I'm going out and I'm gonna have a nice day, so I need to not cry and not ruin my makeup. So this is the outfit of the day, I think. I haven't even looked in the mirror. Yeah, okay, I think we're going for it. I've got like just a nice boxy t-shirt underneath that fits really nicely. It's from Primark actually. It's called like the Primark Edit or something and it's one of the best fitting t-shirts I have. So it's a good base layer to have if I get too hot for my jumper because then I can whack it off. Sometimes I have the habit of like throwing on any old white t-shirt just to have this like pop of white that I really like. But then it means that it's not always the right t-shirt to wear with the outfit if I have to take my layers off. But today... I'm thinking things through but yeah this is what we're working with just needs like a bit of a, a tuck to give a cool girl vibe I think and then I think I'm just going to do chunky white trainers because that is easy and they will be comfortable hopefully although I did wear them out for like a three hour walk on Sunday because I'm basically doing the Alzheimer's track 26 I'm walking a half marathon in London in about four or five weeks time actually. So at the weekends, I'm really trying to get myself out for long walks just to get my body used to it. And it's causing some pain at the minute, I think linked to these other like health problems that I'm having. Um, so I'm seeing my chiropractor as well to be like, help me. But yeah, I wore them out the other day and they did start rubbing. So I don't know if that's silly to then wear them again today, but I don't really have any other options. I'm just trying to find like a good pair of socks that will give me a bit of protection. These ones will do. Okay, this is what we're going for. I've just got chunky white trainers to go with the rest of the outfit. And I even ironed these trousers, which is an activity I don't usually participate in, but it felt quite necessary today for this look. And I quite like it. I think spring is my favorite time to dress for, so. We're going with it and I just need to find a tote bag to put all my stuff in because Amy has requested that I bring my iPad along today. She's got something she wants to do on my iPad, so we're taking it along. I've made it to London and I have collected my rats and I've also got myself, sorry, a jump scare. I'm just trying to remember. I know, well exactly, I haven't vlogged in such a long time. It's been a year since I uploaded to my channel, Lucy Wood. <laughs> And I've got myself a cookie from a place called Soft Serve. We're in Seven Dials Market and they are just... <laughs> and it is like the chunkiest cookie ever. They look delicious. There were so many good flavours. It, it feels squidgy. This is a double chocolate one. But they also had like a chocolate banana one, a matcha one, a normal milk chocolate. They had a biscoff one and they had... Uh, yeah, the biscoff one looks really good. And then they had one that was white chocolate and peanut butter. And that looked fantastic. But I'm not a white chocolate girl, so I'm a I raised you these ones I made this week. I would actually say that this looks better. Sorry. Are they the tiny burger? <laughs> yeah, they are. I love the tiny burger. Yeah. I've made them so many times. It's a good recipe. Very soft, very nice. Oh, is it? I approve. Yeah. Sort of. Oh, <laughs> that's. You, it's a box. It's pretty abstract. We're currently trying to work out Lucy's signature for when she needs to sign the special edition of her book. Oh. There you go. Yeah. No, that looks no. like GW. It, uh, My name is Gareth. 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 That's fine, we've practiced. Yeah. Yeah. No, Although I you make too much of a corner at the, 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 the jet. I like that. Just practicing a little bit of fraud in this cafe today. So we've discovered the reason that Amy wanted me to bring my iPad in today, and it's because she wants to make her handwriting a font for her thumbnails and for like her YouTube videos. 
and basically I've done that before I use my own handwriting as a font for Daddy's IRL and this is the thing that I used to do it it's called calligrapher uh, it's very clever and you basically you can write it out you can literally print these out and like scan the back in but I just do it on the iPad because it's a bit easier so she is gonna make a font out of a handwriting today and uh, well I'm gonna make it she's gonna do the handwriting bit I'm gonna do the font bit we've also had a discussion that I think you can tell who's handwriting is whose because it all it gives off the right vibe doesn't it so we're doing a test and lucy is basically going to look at all of our handwriting we're going to write the same sentence out and she is going to guess whose is whose and amy is currently being very secretive about it she doesn't want anyone to know <laughs> yeah the way you're like you're falling out <laughs> so here's a sneak peek at all of the sentences put in the comments if you think you can tell whose is whose between me amy and chloe right right are you ready there you go Really? I think this is Jess. This is Jess. I think this is Chloe. <laughs> and this is Amy. Interesting. Drum roll. Incorrect. Aww. One right. What's the right one? That is right. That, that's you. Yeah. You give this energy. Yeah. <laughs> Lazy and a bit erratic. <laughs> I thought this was Jess because it looks like it's a. Because it's so neat. Very, like, yeah. Handwriting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But my actual handwriting is not very neat. It's only when I put my mind to it and do like hand lettering yeah. that it's neat. I've got like very. That looks like I've got very like doctor's handwriting. She does, it's true. And considering you write so much, like all of your to do lists are on paper, like. It, it does, yes. And here we have a master at work. Wow, she's learning the shortcuts. Look at that. I think that's quite cute, actually. Yeah? It's way better than a six prong one. I agree. Yeah. It's more like a star, then. Yeah. This is my favourite time of day. It's pickles for Jess time. Pickles for Jess. Pickles for Jess. It's a good little haul, actually. These beds are absolutely stunning. This is one I have actually had my eye on for a really long time. Not in this colour though, a slightly lighter shade. Um, but this, with the little bits that come out at the side, I absolutely love it. I've had my eye on it in a really long time because I don't like my current bed. And I believe that they are both Ottomans, if I'm not mistaken, because I am actually a dusk expert at this point. But I just think they look so nice and I really like all the blankets and how many cushions there are. Although, personally, I could not do... really annoying. Though. This is the thing, I love having loads of cushions, but recently I've had to put them on top of my wardrobe because I was like, this is too much every day. Yeah, I can't I do it. That's enough, like, yeah, three it's... and my two pillows that I sleep with. And that's so enough. we've got like four pillows on and the bed obviously two each yeah. and then i had an extra four cushions and i was like this is just too much for one girl every morning i can't do it so even though i love the look of it personally i don't like the upkeep oh surprise hangers my bedroom's any the idea of any bedside table in my, my bedroom gives me the ick why the idea of putting that on top of a carpet just gives me the ick that's like a really normal thing to do i know i just wish my bedroom floors were wooden Maybe we could just rip the carpet up then. My sister is fantastic at laying laminate. Is she? Yeah, that's yeah. Good. She's that's done it in her house. Skill. She like she's done it in my mum's house. She's very good at laminate. So maybe we'll do. Maybe we'll do a floor for Amy. We just got done with Amy's uh, font. So this is her handwriting. She did it all it. herself. And if you want to see my pre birthday glove vlog, you can see that on my channel. And what is your channel? Amy Ashton. Fantastic, go and watch it. Just got back from my day in London and I'm like really armed up. It was actually a very good day, particularly after the little like almost cry that I had uh, earlier. Just realized I've got two pairs of glasses on my head. And this right here is a pile that needs to go on vintage that I haven't got around to yet, so don't judge the mess. There's a lot of mess in this flat at the minute. Actually, I need to like give it a good once over. But yeah, it was a really good day. The events we went to were great. We had one with Dusk, um, where we got to see their spring summer 24 collection and one with Walida, uh, but we got to that one quite late, so we didn't get to 
really speak to anyone from the team but we have come back with some goodies from it and i've only ever tried skin food from them and to be honest i didn't realize i had as many products as they do so it's nice that we've got some different ones to try out because skin food i was saying to amy because i don't think she's tried it i was saying it's one of those ones i don't use it really often but on the times i do use it is exactly what my skin needs like it's so thick so heavy duty so if i really feel like my skin needs a good intense hit that's what i tend to go for and then after that we went to the theater to see two strangers carry a cake across new york and it was just incredible it was so good one of the best shows i've seen in a really long time actually particularly in terms of new shows as well i've got a lot of shows that i've watched several times because i really love them but in terms of like a completely new show oh it was so good i think it only started recently as well the run on it is april to july so it can't have been on for very long it is a two cast show it is just sam tutty and then oh, i forget the girl's name do john a gift so it's just the two of them it's quite like a relatively simple set until it isn't i don't know that doesn't really make any sense but it's just oh it was so good it was so funny the whole audience was laughing out loud it had really good music to it as well and it's just oh you know when you watch something and you're like this is fantastic i was like smiling ear to ear for quite a lot of it that was absolutely fantastic what way to end the day actually i'm knackered now after how rough i felt yesterday i'm surprised i managed to sort of do as much as i have done today there was a lot of like backwards and forwards to different parts of london after the events we went back to the same place that we were in like this morning just to see lucy again she stayed there to do some work without us distracting her um so yeah it's been a busy one and i have a feeling tomorrow i might have a little um dip in energy but that's okay because i've just got a day at home tomorrow i'm gonna try and get like I was gonna say an early night but it's already like 11 so it won't be that early particularly by the time i've taken my makeup off got into bed sat and had a little read as well I'm very like you know when you like literally walk through the door you feel really flustered i literally stuck the camera on straight away so i'm like <sighs> i've had so much caffeine today i think just to get me through the day so i'm now like usually caffeine doesn't do much to me but i'm feeling a bit like bust from it and um, so i'm gonna take my makeup off try and decompress Try and drink a lot of water as well because I basically haven't had anything hydrating today. I've just had coffee and, and coke. So it's not a good combination. I'm gonna go and do that and I'll see you in the morning. It is Thursday and I have had a very slow morning. It's about lunchtime now and I've just been doing some admin and some editing, so nothing too interesting. But quite nice to just have a relatively slow morning where I can just chill out a little bit because I'm a little bit tired from yesterday. I definitely seem to have a cycle of if I have a busy day, the next day I am very, very low on energy. So I'm just trying to combat that the best I can. But this afternoon I'm actually doing something very fun, which I am going to be filming for a separate video. So you won't be able to see it right now, but I can tell you what it is. And basically I've decided that this year I'm going to make all of my friends birthday presents. Just feel like it would be a really fun little challenge for myself. And then it will be hopefully, question mark, nice for them to get something that I have made rather than bought. So first up is Chloe. Her birthday is on Monday. So I'm making it today or probably over the next couple of days actually. I'm definitely not going to be able to get it finished in one day. But I can't tell you what it is because she'll see this vlog and it is a surprise until she gets her present on Monday. And then once she has it, I can then upload the video separately. And what's really fun about this and maybe a little bit ambitious too is that i am doing something completely different for all of my friends using different mediums or like different crafts and skills so it doesn't matter if they see what i've made for the others because that doesn't mean they'll be able to guess what i'm making for them so it'll be a fun surprise all round are we going to do a listening party then yeah what are you putting on um this is going to be taylor swift the smallest man who ever lived has anyone listened to it yet no, no. i haven't listened to any of them oh okay right full volume full volume it's just not where I expected that to go. <laughs> She's so 
we finished our little listening party and we everyone has arrived now and um, we've all just sort of bundled together at amy's i realized that i actually hadn't picked up my camera today so suddenly i'm in a new place with lots of people but we've just been having a meeting about um girlies rl our company if you don't know about that i'll leave some links for it down below so you can check it out uh, but basically we put on events for people to come and meet new friends and it is all very wholesome very lovely but every so often when we're all in the same place because there's five of us that do it and it's quite hard to coordinate some stuff just like by messaging whenever we are all sort of in the same place we then have a big meeting trying to figure out anything that we need to cross off like any upcoming events and then planning new ones stuff like that so we've been doing that we're about halfway through and need to start talking about tax which is so boring so we're having a midway point to have a break to eat a croissant actually but something i also want to show you is the other day when i made that font for amy we finally got that figured out and she's got it on her laptop i am having a chat because did you not know i'm a vlogger now oh my god absolutely um but no she also way. made loads of little um drawings to use on her thumbnails as well and i've been a really good friend here and i've packaged them all up really nicely titled them all so they're easy to find airdrop them to her macbook but they look really cute so i thought i would show you so this is the font that she did amy did all the letters herself and then i just turned it into a font that she can then use on canva and then she also drew all of these little bits herself but i had to separate them all out into individual files and then i've just made them like all nice and neatly labeled because I'm a good friend, but they look so cute. And I feel like I need to do something similar for myself. It's made me feel a little bit jealous of our organisation. God, look at this. this. Amy's the hostess with the most ass. These are like freshly baked. They're the ones that are like partly frozen and then you put them in the oven. They look stunning. We've just finished no. our meeting and Maria has a birthday present to give. Me and Chloe. Yeah. Is it me and Chloe? Yeah, it's you and Chloe. Present concept for this year yes. is Maria's box of things that you will like. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, that's the title. Maria's box of things you will like. Now, Maria may have misjudged some of the sizes of Amy's items. So, Amy has a bag also. This stuff was meant to go in here. No, in here. But it didn't actually fit because something was larger than I thought it was. So, it's so, very intriguing. Amy's got more than me. This is, no, you've actually got more than Amy. Oh. Chloe's got more than me. Yeah. <laughs> so, actually, everyone's box follows the same sort of formula. Okay. So everyone has like one of one thing, one of a book or book related item. Oh. For me, a book book. Why don't you stretch that far? Uh, one of the things in your box, yeah. when I was in your house the other day, I saw, but it didn't belong to you. Oh. It belonged to someone else. I don't know what that could be. Well, I have many things in my house. You'll know, but it didn't belong to you, it belonged to someone else. This is Chloe's box of stuff. Oh my god! Okay, okay. Oh, top hand. Yeah, because you're like me and girly. So everything has a meaning. So card is because Chloe is like love of hands, but in real life. She's close to Essex. No, but like she knows all of the memes. So like she knows all of the TikTok things. Everyone has a sweet treat. So your sweet treat is this. Oh my god! I've never seen this one before. What flavour is that? Milk chocolate chip cookie. It always makes us biscuits. That is true. God, Maria's really put her brain to good use. It's just from me, but I don't like perfume, and you do like perfume, so I throw it in. It's been used like twice. I love it. She is the lemon girl. And she likes peppermint tea and you should have Oh my god, that is so cute. But that's a good mug for a tea. That is a yeah, it is. It's hand painted hand washing. Wow. She also has the lemon girl candle because she likes lemons and lemon drizzle cake. I love lemon drizzle cake. It's actually a lemon girl. And it's very lemony. It is really lemony. I love that. And then this is the thing that someone in your house already has, but not you. It's the cats. Oh the cats. So everyone has the jelly cap that's related yeah. to them. And also me and Chloe like the same style of banana and we discuss bananas quite a lot actually. So that sounds so boring. So yes. Same style we, of banana. We do. And and we discuss we bananas have, regularly. No, we do. We actually do. The other day I sent her a picture of my um, bananas and we had a conversation about the brown spots on the bananas because yeah, it was weird. Perfect. And then finally Chloe's book. Brussels. Chloe's book is the Brussel book. Brussels. Brussels. Is her favourite. It is indeed. Even proving yesterday, I sent her a photo of my mother and she recognised her Prada bag. That is Chloe's so box of stuff. She likes it. Yay! Amy's box of stuff. So I had to base the size of the boxes on your book. 
Oh. Not fit perfectly, but I didn't think about the height of some of the items. It is ah! my favourite hot chocolate. It's her favourite hot chocolate because oh. it's her favourite hot chocolate. The book. The book. Yeah, the book. I decorate the, the theatre poster art from Broadway, off Broadway, and beyond. Because you know what I love about it is that it's got yellow on it, and I'm really in a yellow phase. You are in a yellow Although phase. Then her yellow era. Yellow era. Her card oh, is. Oh, what era did you just say you were in? Yellow era. <gasps> Oh, oh my god, Taylor Swift! Welcome to your era. Welcome to your era. This card says, I love cards, as you know. Hope you get loads of views on your Disney one. <laughs> <laughs> and then in here we have Amy's Jelly Cat and Amy's Candle Variation. Oh. What that will be. Huh. Oh, I think I've got an idea. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. You mm -hmm. you I know. <gasps> A Woodwick candle. Oh, yeah. Stunning. She loves Woodwick candles. Having a very tricky mental health time. Noises make me cry, and so I shut myself in a quiet room and light wood. Woodwick candles. <laughs> so what flavour is it? It's linen. Yeah. Oh. It's linen. Yeah. And then her yes. jelly cat I got specifically for the office. Girl oh, boss. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Fantastic. Whoa! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Jesus Christ, what is going on here? Please, I really can't wait, be bothered to drive to any guys. It's alright, I'll drive, I've got my car. Don't emergency stop. <laughs> I just That's can't imagine music. spinning I'm like that, uh, having consumed this much liquid cheese. Yes, I don't like it. No, 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 no! <laughs> Hey, get the rotation. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! I think if I did that, I might wee. Oh, so no. elegant. Whoa! Lettuces oh, water. <laughs> Total wipeout. Yeah. No water. <laughs> Do you want to go? Come on then. Safe to interpretation. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this feels like it may be. Oh my god. Happy Elon is actually okay. throwing herself at it. I might be stuck. <laughs> You're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very confused. It feels this like a lot of this has bits place. missing. I agree. Oh. I think this once was a magical place. Now, less so. I feel like I've done a terrible job of vlogging yesterday and today, but in general, I have enjoyed it so much this week. So I'm really glad that I decided to pick up the camera and just go for it. And if you have made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you have subscribed and leave a comment as well. Let me know how your week has been and if you've enjoyed me being back on YouTube. I feel like I'm going to have quite a mixed bag of a week next week. It's Chloe's birthday on Monday, so we'll be doing something for that. And then I've got a couple of like general appointments and I'll be getting prepped to go to Budapest the week after. So it's going to be some outfit planning. And I really want to get a facial as well. I've got a lot of like congestion at the minute and my skin's just not having a great time even though I am looking after it quite well so I feel like a little treat yourself moment I would love to get a facial before I go away and it'll be like a pre pre Budapest pre birthday facial so there'll be a few different bits going on next week and I'm gonna make sure that I pick up my camera for those as well because it's been a lot of fun actually I've really missed YouTube so it's nice to be back thank you for watching and I'll see you probably same time next week